what is good this is cd done mp3 from the gnarly channel and today i'm gonna be making a sample with this ukulele i'm not like a professional player i don't really play it's kind of messed around with chords but yeah i'm gonna be making a sample out of this basically showing the process of recording a live instrument and like quantizing and all that stuff in fl um different effects to add and basically how to make a fire sample using live instruments for this i'm thinking about doing like around 100 BPM, 108 should be fine. I'm just gonna play around with it, with the ukulele a little bit. So I think, I think I got, got a good, good enough recording, recording out of that. that. Um, I'm probably gonna have to record something again, like some top melodies or something, but I think for right now that's fine. So I'm gonna make the stretch first of all, and I'm going to find the parts of the recording that I wanna use. And I actually like this section the best for the second half. And so now I have like the parts I want, but you'll hear if I put the metronome on, like they're not on beat. Which just makes it like, it's hard to use like drums on this. It makes it sound pretty much like unusable, but it's not that hard to quantize. It just takes a little bit of time. So the first thing I wanna do is do this, make sure everything's stretch, put generic on, which basically just fades out um, both sides of the audio clip. So it's not gonna be like, like aggressively like clicking or anything like that makes for like smoother transitions and now uh, what i'm gonna do is take this slicer tool i'm going to cut like every time there's a note played or like a little scratch it's like there there all right so i just cut all of these i just like sliced all these notes up so now i'm just going to click here and i'm going to make these all unique and i'm just pressing m because that's like the hockey for it just click M, click M, keep doing that for every one of these. Now I'm gonna put stretch on. And this is a cool little hack I found out the other week. If you hold shift, you can hold shift and then all, like after you hold down shift and you can move these. And yeah, that's just a cool little thing. I'm gonna put the metronome on. This sounds a little bit weird. So. And you have to make everything like entirely on time. Like what I do sometimes just to like make it a little bit more human, like humanized or whatever is just like make some of the like, some of the notes like slightly off. Like usually I wouldn't go early just cause that can sound weird, but like a little bit after usually fine. So it sounds pretty good right now. What I'm going to do is record this into Edison. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag this back in, and I'm actually gonna take the original audio I recorded, if I can find it. What I'm doing with this is I'm going to go into audio editor, I'm gonna normalize it so I can see it better, and what you wanna do is find like a spot where no noise is supposed to be playing, where it's just kind of like white noise in the back. You're going to highlight that section, like right there. It's pretty much just like, Empty noise, I'm gonna do a quiet noise profile. And now I'm going to go back in here, open this in the audio editor, and I'm going to click this again. And what this does is it removes all of that noise that you selected. So it helps get rid of the white noise. I'm gonna do an EQ, basically take out like a lot of the bass Pretty much like 100 hertz should be fine. And then I'm gonna do another EQ. Now 
I like how that sounds. And with this, I kind of like how it sounds like really bare and not like oversaturated with effects or anything, but I'm going to put a little bit of reverb on, probably like like very small amount, like this. I'm going to copy this, um, make unique. I'm going to route this to a, a different track. And this is kind of like an easy way to give the melody more depth. I'm just going to do like this. And then do half time. I don't really like this is sounding, but... And I don't want these last notes on, so I'm just going to delete it like right there. What I may do is put a little Alter Boy on and just do this. All right, so now that I've gotten this basic like pattern down, I think I'm just gonna play around on the ukulele, try to find some like top notes or something. All right, so I just recorded a lot. I'm gonna find the parts I want to keep and chop them up, quantism, all that. All right, so now I'm gonna do an automation clip just to get rid of the breathing noises. Do like this, why not? See how that sounds with everything else. Nice little vibe. Now I'm gonna do pretty much the same process for this. But there's a lot of tracks I recorded, so I'm gonna try to find the best one. Just gonna try to use this and see what happens. And then I think every like eight bar, I'll have this play at the end instead of whatever this is. A, so this is going to go here. This will go over here. And I messed up some of the notes, but I don't really feel like redoing them. So I'm just going to make it unique and mess with the pitch like this. So, so far we have is this. I'll probably take these notes out when this is playing, but I'm not keeping it for now, just because I kind of like don't mix well together. So I'm just gonna quantize these notes and then see if I want to use anything from this. But this is pretty much done after I add effects. What I'm doing with this is I'm delaying it a little bit just because I want it to have kind of a like pluck effect. Like it's playing this note and I'm like strumming to this note right after it. Give it a cool vibe. Now, I'm gonna do the final layer. I think I'm just gonna use something from back here. Now, all together. It's pretty fire right now. Um, gonna add some effects see if I want to add maybe like a vocal chop or something on top of this so I think I want this to have like more reverb be a little bit wider I'm gonna do like and then this one will be like more like centered so they kind of like fit together put some effects on this to avoid that probably gonna do like this heavy reverb go up like there and then do like that something like that And then this needs another EQ, just because there's like one really harsh frequency around there.
It's like a little accent note. Beautiful. Put an EQ on this thing. Do like. Probably do like a little bit of reverb on this. Something like this. And then for this, what I may do is actually, instead of that, there's one like delay type thing. That sounds sick. It's in here, I'm pretty sure it's Memory Man. And this just sounds really cool. I'm gonna see if it sounds good to this. So I'm gonna do that. I may try to lower this. Why not, fuck it, just use this as a bass. So, here, go there. Do you like that? All right, so this is pretty fire. I may add a vocal chop, but I don't know yet. I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna delete it. And actually, I'm gonna solo this track out and bring it down to or up like three. And this will just make it sound cooler when I pitch it down because my voice will be like a little bit deeper. It'll be like a cool effect thing. Alright, we got that out of the way. Going to disable this because I don't need any more. Go here. Then we're gonna go back to pitching everything down to 100 cent. And this is what it sounds like raw. So it doesn't sound terrible, but it does kind of. So. What I usually do for these ukulele samples is kind of like the thing I guess I do is just EQ a ton of the lows out and it just gives it like a like a phone type. It just sounds cool. It sounds like it's like over the phone or something. It just gives it a cool vibe. I like it. And then I usually just put this. And you can hear I'm not I'm not the greatest singer. It's not really my thing. A lot of these notes are really flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up this handy dandy new tone tool. And I'm going to bring the center up a little bit. Not all the way because I still want it to sound like real. I want it to sound like there's auto-tune on it. I want to make it sound all natural and nice. Let's see if that sounds good. I don't know what I'm doing right now. That should be good. So now I have this. I gotta time stretch it, of course. <laughs> Go here, here. So I want this to be like there. And you have to time stretch them up perfectly, it's vocals. So 
So now what I'm going to do is basically delete all of these and copy this here. All the effects are done. Everything's good. I'm just going to arrange it real quick. So first thing I'm going to do is probably take out these vocals in the beginning. Take out this, take out that, just have it like. All right, so this is pretty much done. I'm just gonna render it out, maybe pitch it up or down. And what I do is I just normalize my samples and lower it a little bit just so all my samples are kind of at the same volume. Um, but they're not like, there's, there's not going to be one sample like blows out someone's ears or whatever. All right. So that's a sample and that's going to be it for this tutorial. Make sure you like, um, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. It should be somewhere on the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to link the sample below. So if you make a beat with this, want to post it, whatever, tag me. Um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial.